So today I'm putting some bongos on in between. Bongo, bongo, bongo! In the choruses, let me play this for you. There's a rhythmic pattern that's built on hitting uh, my acoustic guitar and then processing it pretty heavily. Which is a loop that we made in Johannesburg. Um, so I like that sound, but it's a little soft. It's not really a tacky, like... So I'm hoping the bongos will provide some of that. No, I mean... Bongo, bongo, bongo. Hello, check, check, check. Kitten, get out of here. world's best bongo player. I'm not even the world's bongo player. I'm going to grab a loop from it. So this here is a good loop. I just need to edit it for time. So we are now going to use our Ben can play the bongos machine. Some would call this cheating, and it is cheating, make no mistake about it. Uh, normally I'm against cheating too hard, but I will cheat for things where I don't feel like I'm really qualified to play it right or anything like that. So, I mean, bongos, I'm no bongo player. Cut it up, put it in time, get what I need and move on. I'll play you a little with and without the bongos so you can hear what they're doing in there. They're a double of an existing thing, so they're subtle. Here's without. And here's with. Hear what they sound like with some reverb on them. a little bit. They don't take away. Therefore, they are useful. Yay! I've got rabbits on my feet! Whee! Wet bunnies. So my friend Charles Choi is coming over to play the violin. You've got a, you've got a spiffy new haircut. It's yeah. very spiffy. I feel very like 90s emo punk. <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah. You, could be in, you could be in a band where you talk about your feelings. Actually, I have the sheet music on my phone. Now I have to find it. <laughs> You're I'm sorry. Such a ham. Sometimes when I'm bored, I just pull up the sheet music and just like read it while it's playing in the headphones. It sounds pretty nerdy, but nerdy's way at your best. Um. So first chorus. So listen. Turns. Um, I'll call him Ajit Jain after Warren Buffett's uh, third in command, who is apparently like a master of reinsurance. I, I actually hung out with a reinsurance person oh, in where? Cape Town. She was from Luxembourg. But I was like, so what are you going to do when like the cities go underwater and, and climate change hits? And she's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> sounding shit. <laughs> you know, the, the warble. Yeah, 
I mean, and you're moving when Louise is singing sometimes, and you'll find it. This is what it's always like to work with Chaz. It's like you devise this plan for what is going to be played, it and then he just, he just he just plays whatever the fuck he wants. Ben sucks. <laughs> God, there's gonna be like, like 15 seconds of me saying nope. There's a request that uh, you go down at the end instead of up. So just end, end on the tonic. Just will I get some gin with that? Dance from water boiling. In and out. So I just reviewed the footage from last night. Uh, we were not, as my friend Beaver and I call it, in the vein. Sometimes you'll wander around lost in a session for hours, just not knowing exactly what to do. Um, and Chaz and I have a way of working together where he usually provides the raw ideas. He's a fountain of musical ideas. He can just... Louise is doing a thing where she would dictate a melody that was in her head to Chaz because she hears such a rich uh, palette of melodies. But in my experience working with Chaz, you have to set him free in a direction and then let him kind of improvise the rest of it. Um, and I didn't know how to say that in the session. Just say, no, 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 your ideas are good, but let him go. Um, and I found myself getting angry. Um, wasn't the greatest. I don't know if it's a simple power thing that I was getting angry about. I felt the session being pulled in now three different directions because there's Chaz's voice, my voice, and Louise's voice coming in. I don't know. Uh, it takes years to build up a trust with a working musician and I get very very sensitive in the studio uh, if someone else is coming in and sort of influencing that trust and that bounce back and forth of ideas that's really kind of sacred to me. So I overreacted. Um, I will have to apologize. I have been known, however, to turn into a bit of a tyrant in the studio. I've snatched cell phones away from people who are glued in and not what I feel is respecting the work. What can I say about that?